Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I wish I would have found where to get one of these plugs months ago, back when I per pretty much ruined my Bebop 2 battery by uh, not paying much attention to the fact that it was a LiPo battery which need to be balanced charged uh, for best results and longer life. And uh, this here plug right here plugs right into the battery. And I've been coming up with all kinds of do-it-yourself solutions. The first one was <laughs> made it out of paint sticks and that connects up to my balanced charger. And I recently made one, uh, made another video on how to make this out of Play-Doh. And I was just cruising YouTube and you know how they put up recommended videos according to what you've been looking at recently. And uh, I found the, it was on the uh, Anquitas channel. And I'll put a link to it because you need to go look at this guy. He's, he's, he actually shows, shows wiring it up. But he has, he first of all knew where to get these plugs. And then he also had the, uh, he showed how he wired up his, uh, his plug to make it work with a balanced charger. And I thought, wow, okay, I need to share this information. So he gets all the credit, but I want to make it available to people who want to do it yourself and uh, show you where to get this. I got this from DigiKey and it was under $8 for that plug, including shipping. So uh, uh, all you need uh, besides the plug is a, a couple of red and black wires, which are just automotive wires in my case, and one of these, which I'll put a link to where to get these off of Amazon. And you hook, you wire, you solder these up as I will show you and plug them into your battery and hook it up to your balance charger, which you're gonna have to provide for yourself. And you will have a balance charge going to your Bebop battery and that battery will last a lot longer. So anyway, uh, I'll uh, go do some soldering and show you what it looks like when I get back. All right, well, I got it all soldered up. Didn't take too long. Uh, the nice thing about it is, is they've got a set of two prongs for each connector. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, anyway, uh, so the, when you when you uh, solder it up, uh, you don't have to try to twist the wires together. It goes pretty easy, and uh, so it didn't take me very long. Uh, if you're good at soldering uh, and you're careful, well, you get it done in uh, practically no time. But first of all, I want to be sure to mention that this was uh, the, uh, the desire of my heart was to find a good way to make a do-it-yourself um, balanced battery charger. And uh, so it, it's uh, due to the Anquitas channel uh, where the guy showed where to buy these things and in the U.S. and uh, or also in Europe and then I found it in the U.S. So I have to give him credit and also he came up with a wiring diagram which I put together on um, a PDF file and you can get this at my website mrkent.com forward slash bebop and uh, I'll put some links at the at the bottom in the uh, instructions uh, down below uh, below the video. So anyway I have to give him credit because I was just uh, surfing and found his site and there was everything I needed. So this is a nice easy uh, way to go about it and like I said this plug here in the United States from DigiT with shipping included and everything was uh, less than eight dollars. So <clears throat> uh, now when I take and I um, uh, oh by the way first of all I need to mention uh, you have to have a balanced charger in order to use that. I don't know if I, uh, I probably forgot to make this. These are not too expensive and you can probably get them off of Amazon pretty cheap or get them at the local hobby store. But you have to have the balanced charger before any of this will make any sense. So that's the number one thing. You need that balanced charger. And uh, then these things come in handy so that if you want to check your battery and uh, see what its condition is, uh, you can you can do that. So here's my battery that I ruined and it charges up easy But it runs down fast. So what we do is we take uh, and this will only go in one way So we take this and we plug it in here and if I'm going to charge it Then I would need to hook that up plus this to the charger, but let's just see if this works and uh, We'll connect it up here And so there we have cell number one is at 84% and it's 4.04 .04 volts. 
Cell number two is at 96%. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but anyway, it's 96% at 4.14 volts. And cell number three is at 81%, and it's 4.024 volts. And then if I hit uh, this here, this will give me the total, which is 12.21 volts. So this is kind of a handy device to, to have. But as you can see, uh, the wiring the wiring diagram and all of that is, uh, is fairly accurate. And by the way, I need to mention that when you do your soldering, don't have this plugged into the battery. Because if you accidentally touch two of these together, you start, you know, you'll get sparks and uh, <laughs> that battery's got a lot of punk spunk to it. And so you'll get sparks and it won't be good. So I usually just clamp it in something like a vise or a table and then I do my soldering. So uh, now let me see. So I showed you how it works. I know it works. And uh, and by the way, uh, that's this is uh, uh, laid out so that uh, it only goes, the tabs are up. When you look at the diagram, you'll get the, if you go to mrkent.com forward slash bebop uh, and download the PDF file and print it off, uh, you, all the instructions are right on there. It's pretty easy. So uh, first of all, if you, uh, I'll put a link on the, on this video to the, um, the uh, DigiKey uh, site in the U.S. where I purchased the, the uh, plug for under $8.00. I'll also put a link uh, on the uh, site on the on the video for the um, Europeans. Uh, they would go to RS online, RS online, and um, you can get the same plug there. I don't know what the prices are, but it's, uh, they're not real expensive. Um, and then I'll also include a link to the Anquit and <laughs> uh, Anquitas channel. Uh, where uh, I found out where I could buy these. That was the important thing. And uh, then I also mentioned that you can get the wiring diagram. But be careful when you're soldering things together. Remember, do not have this plug uh, stuck in the battery when you're soldering because uh, it looks like a good place to hold the plug. But uh, if you touch two of those connectors together, you get sparks. So uh, anyway, um, there you go. Got my, my uh, balanced charger. And uh, don't have to have any paint sticks glued together. And if you've watched my other videos, don't have to mess around with uh, Play-Doh and, uh, and all that. So uh, anyway, I hope this is useful to you. And I want to thank you for watching.